I do have two questions, but a quick statement, and that is, you know, I have a lot of citizens in my, in my district who say, you know, I don't understand how we can call this a budget surplus, and I would tend to agree with them. And I try to explain it like, um, you know, you just charged $5,000 on your credit card, but you have $1,000 in your checking account. Would you call that a surplus? And so for a lot of regular citizens, they don't understand the lingo, and, um, and I think that it's important that we recognize that at some level. I have a couple of basic questions, and I won't wait now for the answer. You can get back to me. My first is, um, what are we doing with the um, money, $1 million, on the Common Core uh, advertising? Where has that ended up in the budget? I'd appreciate info on that. Also, the Department of Labor made an egregious error against the citizens of this state when they mailed out 1099 forms to citizens that uh, were incorrect. I understand that we're going to be spending $107,000 in ID theft protection. I'd like to know where that is coming out of the budget as well. My big question that I would like you to answer now, though, sir, is that you talk about <coughs> 406 new employees. And I understand 100 of those are with DOT. It's a federal grant. Um, and you don't have to necessarily answer this one now, but I'd like to know how long that federal grant is going to last. Is that a one time, you know, once a year uh, infusion to pay for these new employees, or is that going to be a long standing system? And then the other question I have um, I'd like to know if there's any new employees for the state park system. Thank you. Representative Brown, thank you for that. 